needs a couple of collectibles and man, I don't even know why I'm checking this out. But before you check me out, make sure you go over to BigBadToyStore.com, order from them, look at them. <coughs> don't die like them. Oh, well, me. Oh, you, you know what I mean. It's going to be the buyer pass in the Venom Pool. Um, and I wasn't quite sure if I was going to make this video because, well, this thing is. I. Hot Toys, what? What? It released. I didn't think this big hunk of chunk would release. Like, what is this? I mean, yeah, it's Hulk size, probably. But for $405 on a Marvel contest of champions figure, I don't I don't get what they were uh, going with over here, guys. Um, like the other Marvel releases, yeah, they're going to sell, they're going to sell out, they're going to be gems. This one is going to be the doo-doo, Moss Poo Poo. I don't know what um, what their team was directing for over on this one, but uh, sorry again for the road noise, but I'm, I'm driving. I don't have my phone on me. It's, it's a Bluetooth, so bear with me okay guys don't hate on me and say i'm gonna cut your nutsack if you die I'm like i'm already dead cut it away donate uh, but yeah this I, I guess this is like a one six scale um venom pool so it's basically venom mixed with deadpool and that video game mobile game i don't know what it is i've never seen it but that's what it is it's a video game masterpiece at 405 dollars and it's arrival time is going to be july 2020 to september 2020 now, all that he comes with, um, I guess, is like crazy interchangeable eyepieces and, and tongues to create expressions and, and articulation at the shoulders. I'm not too sure how articulation works at the elbow joints and all that stuff. I get, I'm, I'm presuming it's going to be like a Hulk figure, but um, this is going to be a little bit longer video because the Iron Patriot and Iron Man Mark 85 battle damage, that's... We saw what was going to happen. That's going to be a definite buy. No need to rant on that. Um, pricing was adequate for it and appropriate. This one, I don't know about it. It's it's weird. It's it's looking all random. I didn't think this would release, but let's go over it. Um, as far as the figure looks, not going to lie, it does look pretty badass. Um, but this is not a figure to buy. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is not a figure to buy and put up on display and be like, want to see my Venom pool? It's gonna be looking like what? I mean, yeah, it looks cool to the the naked eye of people who don't know what Marvel is. But if you know who Marvel is, I mean, I mean if, unless you like this stuff, unless unless you like the video game and you're a big fan of it, I I didn't realize that this much uh, fandom was over this Venom pool. I've never seen the guy before. Obviously, comes with a cell phone, some katanas, a bunch of Venomy uh, symbiote like tentacle porn coming out of his butt. And uh, it, it was just a weird looking release for me. I don't, it looks cool at first, um, but this is one of those figures that you go by and look at it and you're like, why did I buy this? And you go and resell it for way under. Like, I see this reselling for 320 like on freaking Facebook forums, like 16 Republic VST and stuff like that. I, I don't really see this figure going, like, keeping its value the way a Mark 85 or Iron Patriot Endgame is going to be. Um, it, it's not to say that, oh, it's crappy quality or whatever. It's good, it's nice, but it's just not that popular with everyone. Probably going to be a lower quantity as uh, upon release, too. So, But um, he comes with a Desert Eagle, as, like, as you can see with the pictures going by. And this one's an ex there's a collector version, exclusive version. I, I'm not sure what the exclude. I think it's the head sculpt, the alternate head sculpt with a closed mouth with him just smiling. Because... Um, Let's go over and see if he comes with anything like that. Because I'm pretty sure I saw that in earlier pictures. Like, he comes with a uh, head that's not, like, open. And you can just interchange that. And I think that's the exclusive version you can get through Sideshow or Hong Kong. So, yeah, the special edition bonus. Additional grinning head sculpt. Although the head sculpt does look cool. It's badass. Like, I see no flaws in it. The only flaw is going to be elbows. When you bend them, it's going to look like bending a shark 90 degrees. Like, take a shark and bend its body 90 degrees. It just doesn't look right. A shark doesn't articulate that much. Elbows do. Sharks don't. You don't get my reference, do you? But, <laughs> all I'm trying to say, yeah, Katana, Desert Eagle, Symbiote's coming out of his ass, two head sculpts, uh, cell phone, hands, uh, multiple eyes, uh, 
uh, $405 big bulky thing that's a waste of space in my collection yeah that's a pass guys guys you knew it was a pass you knew it was going to be a big pass from the get go I cannot begin to say what the hell Hot Toys you could have released the freaking um, I see a GTR almost every day on this highway but I, I you could have released the freaking release the Kraken release the freaking Hot Toys Jedi Starfighter I want that Save your money. Don't put this into production. Don't put this kind of crap into production. I mean, I'm sure there's people who likes it. But it's not that big of a fandom that likes it. I'm guaranteed a lot of people were like, what the hell? The big collectors I know on YouTube. I'm pretty sure Denobi, I'm pretty sure you were like, what the hell even? I mean, Denobi's one of those guys like, oh yeah, slap some titties on some Iron Man and I'm buying it. And Denobi probably doesn't even want this. No, I would mean, no hot toys. No, I'm not ready. No, but I, you know what I'm saying. Bring this Jedi Starfighter. Uh, spend some money into that. Make engineer Jedi Starfighter. You can pop off the wings, and it's this, it's this one big vertical box. Comes with R2. Charge me that. I don't want to pay for that. I, mean, I don't have to. It doesn't bother me. But save that production money for something like the Jedi Starfighter. I'd much rather that. I'd much rather that. To me, that's a that's a. It's a big waste to put this into a giant box and ship it overseas. Waste those import money on, uh, like, Jedi Starfighter. And, like, I mean, come on. You can modulate that Jedi Starfighter. Pop off the wings. Um, make it such a system that it's, like, a three-piece or something like that. It's just going to be super long. But, I mean, what's the big deal? Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, Hot Toys. But if you like what you saw here on Lazy Company Collectibles, make sure you like and share the videos with your mother and your father. They're going to love you for spending this much money. I swear. And if you have no parents like Uncle Ben, Uncle Ben! <laughs> yeah, you do that. Just go outside, scream Uncle Ben, and I'm sure somebody will come to your aid, whether it be paramedics or an asylum or the CIA. Somebody's going to come to you. Okay, bye!